Hello friends, my name is Jose Luis, this time I am going to show you how to make a corner shelf, very easy to do and very pretty, I am going to leave you the measurements in a highlighted comment, I hope you like it and let's get to work. We grab the board that is for the shelf or for the shelf, we look at which is the prettiest face, we draw a line and make another mark after a few centimeters, and now with a small rod we are going to nail in the mark that we just made. Mark with the chisel and place a pen on the tip and mark the curve. We also mark this other board crossed, we mark a centimeter, and we place the nail at the end of the mark, here I mark it deeper with the chisel to place the tip of the pen so that it doesn't escape me, and I mark the curve. And the other boards I also mark in the same way. There we begin to mark the legs, with the semicircle and the false square, we place it at 83 degrees, which would be the angle of the bottom leg. And for the upper part, there we mark it 29 centimeters. 2 centimeters and join the two dots. There I show you with the false square how we would measure it. We open it well and it gives us an angle of 170 degrees, and we make the mark. You can mark it with the meter as well, as long as you respect the width of the strip. Then we mark the curve above with a circle and start cutting. This is 83 degree angle and this is the 170. We cut the curve slowly, leaving the line, whenever they cut with a jigsaw or with a saw they always make it a little backwards and a little forwards and they curve it, they cut it. We pass the sanding roller, we sand the round ends and also the edges, only for the back angle. We are going to have to sand only two edges, because one is superimposed on the other, and it is screwed. Also to these corners of the curve, softly, without squeezing, because it can make small holes in the wood, even more so when the grain is pointed because the wood is softer in the whiter or lighter part. We sanded it by hand, and I took out the edges. There I show you that we are going to place a 38mm screw in the tip, and we will insert 8mm and a 52 screw that we are going to insert 2cm deep. We mark with the square where we are going to make holes, we grab the three-pronged wick of 10 millimeters. And we drilled it with a four millimeter bit. So that the screws enter loosely. And we started to prepare the corner angle, where the shelves would be screwed. We pierce it with the guide wick, we put glue on it. We place it even, and we screwed it. We clean, we drill again with the guide wick and screw it. And so we continue to the bottom. And we started screwing the legs. 
We place the screws inside that we are going to mark with the same screws to make holes. There I nailed it a little and I am going to screw it more to be able to mark. I drilled it quite deep with the 3mm guide bit, because it is a resinous hard pine, in the event that you have a slightly softer wood, a softer pine, don't pierce it too deep with the guide bit, just a little more, so that the screw fits and it is already very firm. I sand it, I hit a little bit, and it's over. I put glue on the dowels, nail them and cut. And to this other, we do the same job. We sand it with an orbital or by hand it could also be. I take the opportunity to sand the part of the round tip also with the orbital, and with sandpaper by hand, I remove the edges. Okay, now he marked it at 11 centimeters with the square, gently. I position the largest board. I mark it just so I can put glue on it. Then I mark 35 centimeters, and I place the boards at 35 centimeters. I want to make you notice something, that I place one of the shelves with the grain facing forward and the next the other way around. I do this, because that way the corner will be much firmer, and there is no risk of cracking the shelves. Well, there I measure 25 centimeters and a half, there I have a little bit down as the leg weighs me down, so I pierced it with the guide wick, I put glue and screwed this one in the corner. I check it again, and he raised it a little bit, a millimeter, I must lift because the same weight lowers my leg a little. And so, I'm doing it. Do you see how the wood grains are crossed? In this way it is much more resistant, and we do not run the risk of cracking the shelves, because one supports the other by the crossed grains. Once we finish screwing this side, we turn and place two screws on the other side, and voila! Well friends the shelf and it's ready, very easy to do, very pretty, if you liked it, give it a like, share it with your friends, any questions you have, comment, I'll be answering them, see you in the next video, bye bye.